In the Olympics this year, James DeGale won a gold medal. Four years ago, Amir Khan was the star of the show. And this year, he's had a difficult year. But he remains determined he's going to succeed. Amir, it's been, uh, been a busy year, hasn't it? Five fights. That's right, yeah, five fights. And it's been a very busy year. You know, it's, it's been up and down. Um, I had my first defeat this year. Uh, but, you know, it's been one of the best years, I have to say, because I've learned so much this year. The first two, it all looked as though it was going according to plan. Sinclair, then Chris Jansen, both good, solid wins. Well, pressure fighter Sinclair was perfect. He'd come forward and I won every round of the fight. Calm tonight was outstanding. Chris Jansen was good. Uh, he was a different fighter, you know, he was a pressure fighter. He was more of a technical fighter, a counter fighter. So it was about, you know, using your brain instead of your heart. He was another tough fighter uh, and I think them fights are needed. Amir, you next went against Michael Gomez, one of the real characters of the sport, isn't he? It was like a Rocky film, you know. Um, first round, I put him down. Second round, I got caught, went down. And then from there, it was just a fight, you know, torch throw, in and out. Um, I remember getting caught with a good body shot. And, um, you know, I recovered from it OK. And then while I was hurt, I come back with, you know, because I knew he was looking for the big shot when I was hurt in the body. And that's when I come with like another 10 shots because I knew, you know, I've got the guy there who was square on and open. Uh, but what a fight it was. By then, I mean, you'd had a, you'd had a, change, of, uh, a change of trainer. That's right, yeah, the search started. I went to America, trained with uh, Floyd Mayo, the senior, who was brilliant. Um, also trained with Rob, R Rubio from uh, Cuba. I thought, you know what, this guy's good. So I said, I'll give him a try for one fight, see how it goes. And then the Brady. choice was Brady's Prescott. Brady's Prescott, who, uh, who um, Rubio said, I think you should fight. And I said, that's not a problem, you know, I'm a fighter. And I said, I'll fight anyone, whoever's in the ring with me. Whoever you say, I'll fight. Like I said to Frank Warren, whoever you want me to fight, Frank, I'll, I'll fight. Uh, so, um, yeah, that was, a, that was an exponent. I never had a video of him. I got the video. I seen the only video I seen on him was on YouTube. Um, and we got that on a D CD and I used to watch that um, and it must have been one of his earlier fights but you know we didn't really have much knowledge about it we, we knew he was a big puncher you know having something like 19 fights and 17 knockouts so I knew you know this guy can bang and I got caught with a with a left hook and then another left hook and a right hand you know he was a lot better than we thought he was you know he stopped me in the first round uh, my first defeat which you know I took on the chin and I said yeah I've been beaten now when you lose a fight you look at everything but when you win a fight you, you don't look at the bad points. So, because I lost a fight, I looked at everything. You know, the, the work with the team, doing the appearances, getting dragged left, right and centre. I said, I want to stop all this because I'm a boxer and I want to I wanna carry on doing my boxing. You were really taking charge of your own destiny. I, I took charge from that day. As soon as I got beat, that was the time I took in charge of everything, you know. Um, I said, look, I want to train in America. Uh, and, you know, I was in touch with Freddie Roach and I had a good chat with him and he said, look, come down with me and I'll make you a brilliant fighter. And when Freddie took me on the pads, he said, man, he was very, very impressed. Uh, at first, he did say to us, he didn't want me to spar with Manny uh, Pacquiao because of the experience and everything. But after he seen me on the pads and he was working with me, he said, man, I want you to spar. I want you to spar with Manny because the jab you've got, he was very impressed with the jab I had. He said, your jab reminds me of Oscar De La Hoya's jab. The first sparring I had with him, the first round ever was, you know, I was very nervous because I thought, you know, he might, he just might just, this guy's good. And coming from a defeat as well, you know, a bit nervous stepping in the ring with like a world-class fighter. And the, well, the best fighter in the world, you know, pound for pound. The sparring that we did was, was tough, hard. And, you know, we used to get the whole gym. So we used to stop and stare at the spar because they used to think it was a proper fight. And they loved it because it wasn't, you know, it was even, it was always even. So, after all the sparring was complete, you, you were fighting uh, an Irishman, a man named Fagan. I went in there, I was a little bit nervous, you know, walking to the ring. As soon as I got in there, you know, um, and the bell went, the nerves were gone. There's people over here in, in your weight division with uh, ambitions of their own. John That's Murray, right. John Thaxton, he That's got right. that European title back. That's right, you know, John, John's a great fighter as well. Maybe down the line, them fights can happen. You now, John being the European champion, you know, that now is it, then there, there could be a good possibility that the fight could happen. What about you for the new year? Yeah, I've got a lot, you know, I want to do a lot this next year. Um, I've, 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 you know, suffered a defeat, come back from it. And now it's all about, you know, 
fighting and getting up the ranks, fighting good opponents, and you know proving proving all the critics wrong. That's what I want to do and get a few good titles this year. That's what I'm that's what I'm aiming for. This time next year I want to be sat here with a few good titles, European or you know even even a world title would be brilliant. You know I know I've got the talent and I'm, I've got the best team around me. I'm working with Freddie Roach and sparring with guys like Manny Pacquiao. So you know it can happen definitely. It was nice seeing him here again and good to see him in such good form. But that fight against Prescott, which he lost, yeah. where did it all go wrong? Mate? He was going to have to fight somebody he could really hit. And he met him uh, against Bridges Prescott. I mean, he, it was sort of like the, from the sublime to the ridiculous. This guy had competed at, at light welterweight. He was a tremendous puncher, world-class hitter. And, uh, I mean, as soon as he hit him, the first time he hit him with that left jab, 17 seconds into the round, his legs went, and then we knew there was big trouble. And that finish was spectacular. And, I, you know, it really, it was such a catastrophic knockout, you know, that, that you know, Ask any of the boxing pundits uh, and all of the people, and they doubt whether or not the kid can ever come back from that. Psychologically, Duke, it must do any fighter a lot of harm, that sort of a knockout. He's gone away and changed trainer. He's gone over to Freddie Roach. Freddie's had a big job to do. Freddie's got a massive task on his hands. He can give him the confidence that he needs, but obviously he can't put muscles on his chin. However, he can school him better than he's been schooled before. You know, you can get knocked out in a world championship fight or at least in a, in a fight and come back, as I've experienced myself. Khan's one saving grace is that he's 21 years old. Mm -hmm. That will be, his, in my opinion, that's his one saving grace. The fact that he's young and he's still, you know, he's still growing, he's still learning. Mm -hmm. And it's not, you know, there's plenty of time to come back, regroup and just to move on from where he is. When you walk in the shower, you're going to get wet. Punches are raining in around you. At some stage, he's going to fight a guy that can really smack. And is he going to be able to withstand it? What do you reckon, Duke? That's the big issue. Can well, he get there? Can he still do it? I, I think he can. Again, you know, he's with the right I people. So. They're going to manage him right. They're going to bring him along. They're going to nurture him back into, like, top line. And, you know, they might walk into a vacant saddle fight where the championship's vacant. All the top quality kids can all wallop. They can all oh, yeah. bang. They can all take a shot. Right they can all is, is dig in the trenches and fight for round after round after round. I think at some stage, they're going to nail him on the chin. And the big question mark is, when British press can, can knock him so catastrophically, will he ever be able to take a shot on the chin again? Thanks, boys.